today is a very big deal because I just arrived to the white sand beach outside Kuala Lumpur, just 90, maybe 100 kilometers. Took me four and a half hours and just because I used the public transport. <laughs> but you could go by the, by the car, but I'm gonna talk about that later. I wanna show you a little bit how does it look, the beach, the nearest white sand beach close to Kuala Lumpur. It's so nice to be on the beach actually. So it's um, first time in the beach, on the beach in uh, Malaysia. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's quite busy, especially as it's Saturday afternoon, it's 5 p.m. Uh, well, so many people doing any kind of activities here in the water. You can rent also so many things like this one. So it's like a banana boat, stuff like this. So many uh, stars everywhere outside. There is even promenade when you can peacefully walk around. So the concept of the beach is very familiar to the other parts of Asia. Uh, plastic chairs, umbrellas by the beach, so many people enjoying. So if you are interested how to get there by the public transport, so I started in Cochrane, Kajang Lane, come to Kajang. From Kajang I take a KTM a commuter train to Sembav Seramban and from Seramban I took the public bus to come to Port Dixon and from Port Dixon <laughs> I took the Grab taxi to come to this beach. Uh, it took me for a half hour, however by car you can do it in two hours. And you can take also Grab taxi, however uh, I pay for the full entire trip like uh, one dollar plus five dollars for the Grab taxi. Public transport only cost me one dollar. Uh, if you want to take a Grab taxi you have to pay approximately fifty dollars one way. So the round trip gonna cost you approximately hundred bucks. In case if you are curious the sun is very white and very soft here, so it's actually nice sand. Also definitely so many local everywhere around, so this beach is totally different than, let's say, in Thailand or maybe in Bali or somewhere, as most of the attractions are definitely local, not many Western style attractions on this beach or bars or stuff like this. So definitely you can find so many local stars selling local products, local dishes. Uh, if you're interested, you are hungry and you want to spend some time on the beach here. And the name of the beach is Telokemang. This is the huge sign in the parking area. Of course, everywhere so many stars. Hello. Uh, with the... Hello. <laughs> so many happy people everywhere. So many stars with the food and the merchandise is everywhere around. The actual promenade is actually pretty long. So you cannot, you can spend the time by the beach, but you can spend also time on the promenade. So many beautiful coconut trees. There is the place where you could buy yourself a satay or something or cheese boxes. Of course, so many toys for the kids and stuff like this hot. It's very hot, by the way, over here. Always remember that, guys. On the way between Port Dixon, which is the city, and this beach and a few other beaches, uh, there are so many uh, beach resorts. Uh, I'm pretty sure as many people, especially from Kuala Lumpur, but also surrounding cities coming here for the weekend, get the way, because it's actually, if you're driving by car, it's just like a two hours, maybe less. Uh, so it's very easy, accessible, definitely shorter way than going to Pinanko Langkawi. Uh, well, it's a pretty nice place, actually. All right, this video has three separate parts. This is the part one, the beach itself in the Port Dixon. Part two will be the, power, the Port Dixon city. Uh, there is like a waterfront, very nice promenade also I wanna show you around. And the part three is gonna be totally trip how to get from Kuala Lumpur to Port Dixon, but I'm gonna film from Port Dixon to Kuala Lumpur by the public transport, guys. So if you are tired of uh, going to Southeast Asian countries and, you know, um, going to the beach with so many beach clubs, beach bars, so many attractions, so many um, stuff like this, you know what I mean. Come to Malaysia, come to this beach, close nearby Kuala Lumpur, and you're gonna find here only local vibe, which is actually very nice. Depends, of course, what I'm looking for. Uh, many people also compare, uh, comment under my videos about the different countries. It will be nice, actually, to keep somewhere the beach, what is very natural with the local people and lo local stars. And actually, I really like it over here as the local vibe. Quiero ser el hombre de tu vida. Tener niños y estar en un altar Tu belleza solo no se me olvida 
Ni tus besos y tus chistes al azar Quiero ser tu amor, tu amor en tu vida Contigo yo me siento en control Quiero ser tu amor Me conoces súper, súper bien Tú me viste y te subiste al tren Todo vale contigo hasta nuestros amigos Se enamoran de la forma que nos ven Enamorados somos dos Mami, te lo digo, tú eres mi abrigo cuando va el sol Also, one thing what I would like to notice as even if so many people, the guy driving there trying to sell you something on the motorbike on the beach, it's actually pretty clean beach, guys. There is not many rubbish around. Almost no, almost nothing. Also, this beach is 13 kilometers from the poor Dixon city, but I managed to take a, find a grab taxi. 20 ringgits, like a four or five dollars, not so bad. All right, and now I just arrived to the Port Jackson waterfront. Basically, this is like a strip of the shops, restaurants, few hotels, parks, and stuff like this. So you can find here, like, uh, if you would like to stay in the city, not by the beach, you can stay here. Uh, also, there is the Starbucks, which is also good accent sometimes. And on the other side, you can find McDonald's, few stalls with the, you know, floaties and stuff like this for the kids. And well, let's see what else I can find. I can find here. I have like a 30 minutes to stroll around because I don't want to be late for the bus going to Seramban because my train from Seramban is actually at nine and it's already seven and bus is going one hour. So if I'm gonna stuck here, I don't know what will happen. Also the companies like this one in, in Malaysia, they are very popular, especially through the local people. Also they have some attractive attractions for the kids, like this kind of modified double bicycles with two steering wheels. Actually this is something very interesting, something new, never saw before. And of course they have few some electric scooters, some ATV, big sign of the bay uh, waterfront. PD for Dixon, of course, shorts. Bicycles for everyone. So you could rent bicycle. Oh, this one, this one with the big wheels actually is cool. And stroll around uh, promenade. Promenade looks like this one with the stones. And in the background over there in the front, you can see actually the beach results what I was passing. My, and the beach actually was summer over there where is the white thingy. Over there, I was somewhere there. There you can find some seafood restaurant by the ocean, by the sea. Uh, actually nice, however, seems a little bit quiet like. At the front, we can see two ships, actually three ships. Uh, I think that's the uh, fisherman fish, uh, fisherman ships, right? So behind me is the seafood restaurant, what I showed you from the ocean side. And from the other side is actually like a huge parking area, a lot of space and these restaurants are around. Also, I just realized that the Port Dixon is somehow like a new city. I mean, the city is taking like a 16th century because there is like a um, light tower and stuff like this uh, with the, you know, the names of the Port Dixon is because of Cologne name however uh, this part by the ocean looks very very new I think because actually there is also the lighthouse um, there is actually blue lagoon beach and then there is the lighthouse I really wanted to go there on this occasion however the trip supposed to take me out about two two and a half hours but took me like a four and a half, four and a half and I start at 12 30 so uh, different occasion now I got a different problem it's starting to be rainy so probably no drone shots over the ships over there actually this is the hotel and the serviced residence pretty nice building very new going now to the bus station uh, hopefully I'm gonna <laughs> not gonna be late for the for my bus and then train uh, however uh, this is like a part of the old town or the Port Dixon, other side, there are actually two streets. What I realized, 
um, is totally different than the other sides of uh, Malaysian cities. Uh, I was in Malacca and Penang in the Kuala Lumpur, so many videos and so on. Also, I think not many uh, international tourists, YouTubers who are coming to Malaysia, coming so far. I mean, maybe it's not really far, far but it's totally different destinations than going to Penang or to Langkawi or to Malacca. So I decide I want to visit a few places like this ones. Uh, I hope so you like it and you enjoy it. It's totally out of the tourist track, I could say. Well, maybe not for the local, local people, but for the international, that's for sure. I didn't so many uh, much international tourists around. So, so yeah, let's see. <laughs> uh, I will show you now. This is the almost end of the part two. And now let's start it with the part three, how to uh, come from the Port Dixon up to Kuala Lumpur because it's not as that easy how does it sounds like or look like except you don't want to take a taxi grab uh, it's just like $50 and you can go uh, door to door directly to your place where you stay or hotel or condo so basically behind me is KFC and all the area where I walk on the old town and just on the other side of the street is already the bus station so I still have a 10 minutes so your job is to find the bus PD Port Dixon to Seremban and this is the bus should be at 7 o'clock also this bus is departing every half hour like 7, 7.38 up to 9 I think so at least the train the last train is at 9 so got my ticket basically from terminal Port Dixon to KTM Seremban to the uh, railway station 350 like less than dollar and the driver was very very helpful he helped me to buy the ticket where to go exactly but he's gone somewhere <laughs> and yeah everybody speak English here so also big thumb up for that Tus labios rosados Yo me muero Por una prueba de placer I'm gonna tell you how the situation looks like. I just arrived to the Seramban station, KTM station. The driver dropped me off just next door. It's raining. I had to wait 50 minutes. I just had the subway. Actually, they have a subway here. That's actually nice. I mean, the sandwich ones. Uh, very nice. The same like in UK actually, the stay is the same, pretty the same. If you arrive to this point, the rest of the journey is very easy. You take the KTM train and you can go wherever you want. Either to, I'm gonna go to Kajang or KL Central or Kuala Lumpur to Chinatown, wherever is just very easy. And then you take your local MRT or RRT. This is the train station, still old school looking train station. Last train in 29 minutes, guys. And it's rainy outside. Que ahora adultos sabemos bien lo que vamos a hacer 